Thank you, Mr. Chair. My name is Deborah Holland. I'm from the Turquoise Clan and an enrolled member of Laguna Pueblo. I wish to acknowledge that we are on Indian land and I humbly ask to speak on this important bill. Mr. Chair, I rise today in strong support of H.R. 2181, the Chaco Cultural Heritage Area Protection Act. And first, I would like to thank my colleague, Assistant Speaker Ben Ray Lujan, Senator Tom Udall, Senator Martin Heinrich for their years of hard work on this important legislation. This proposal, sponsored by my good friend and fellow New Mexico representative, Mr. Lujan, would protect the ch cultural resources at Chaco Culture National Historic Park, as well as New Mexico's clean air from the impacts of oil and gas extraction. This bill would withdraw lands in a 10-mile buffer zone around Chaco Culture National Historic Park to protect that site and the region's undiscovered resources from the impacts of further oil and gas extraction. Chaco Canyon and the greater Chaco region have been home to my people for centuries. As a 35th generation New Mexican and a descendant of the indigenous inhabitants of what is now the Southwest United States, I can say that there are few places more exceptional than the Chaco region. Over hundreds of years, my ancestors engineered and constructed massive multi-story structures at Chaco Canyon that became the ceremonial, administrative, and economic center of the region. It is a certified international dark sky park where visitors can gaze at the same dark sky with myriad stars that my ancestors did over a thousand years ago. These sites and the objects they contain tell the history of my people and connect us to our past. The Indian Pueblos and the Navajo Nation still have intimate connections with the greater Chaco region, recognizing the area as a spiritual place to be honored and respected. This Congress, the National Resources Committee, has heard from the leaders of four Pueblo nations, the All Pueblo Council of Governors, elected leaders of the Navajo Nation, the National Congress of American Indians, from senior officials in tribal and Pueblo governments, and from a plethora of Americans, all of whom support H.R. 2181. The entire New Mexico congressional delegation and the governor of our state support H.R. 2181. This bill enjoys broad support on the ground and bipartisan support here in this chamber because protecting indigenous cultural resources, protecting Chaco Canyon should not be a partisan issue. This proposal is about respecting our history and protecting our culture. We owe it to tribal communities, to the people of New Mexico, and to people the world over to permanently protect the Chaco region. Earlier this year, I traveled to the Chaco Culture National Historic Park with several of my colleagues. While in New Mexico, we had the opportunity to use infrared cameras to watch plumes of methane and pollution spewing from oil and gas operations, creating a toxic cloud the size of Delaware that hangs over the skies of northwestern New Mexico. 90% of the federal lands in this region are already open to oil and gas extraction, and New Mexicans are all too familiar with the toxic impacts it has on clean air, clean water, and their health, and the health of their children. When you're out there watching the methane plumes and experiencing the dust, the noise, the light pollution, and their impacts, it's easy to see why oil and gas extraction does not belong next to a sacred ancestral site of the Pueblo people. If you don't believe me, you can ask Interior Secretary Bernhardt. When he visited Chaco Canyon earlier this year with Senator Martin Heinrich, he evidently was struck by the significance of the park because he committed to a one-year moratorium on drilling around Chaco Canyon to allow Congress to act on proposals like the one before us today. I thank the Secretary for his efforts, but one year is not enough protection for a site 
that holds centuries of history and culture. That is why I ask you all to support Chaco Canyon today, to support the Pueblo people, the Navajo Nation, and the people of New Mexico by voting in favor of H.R. 2181. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I reserve the balance of my time. General from uh, New Mexico.